All right, YouTube, I got another bowling alley video coming at you. Today we're gonna go over the pin spotter chassis and how it works with the bowling alley machines. This one is the 8290XL. It was made in the 90s. I believe there's another unit for the 70s that I am not familiar with. So if you have that, I'm sorry, but my video may not help you. All right, we're gonna go over everything real quick. So the machine is shut off right now, but I do have full control of the machine with this chassis. So with the breaker on and the back end on, we're going to put it in manual mode. So we've got our odd lane selected. This machine controls both lanes. And uh, this would be the manual button. I know it doesn't say it anymore, but if you look inside of there, it does definitely say manual on the inside. So we'll hit manual. The lane will turn on and it will start running. Just the back end stuff. All right, so those two lights mean that it's in manual mode and it's in the first phase of its cycle. So for a quick reference, we will hit the cycle button. The sweep will come down, the pins will grab, it will sweep under and set the pins back down. That would be like if you bowled and missed and it is blinking, which means we're on the second step to the ball cycle. If we hit cycle again, now the sweep will come down, lock our pins, throws them in the cup, and sets our pins down. The pin elevator will pull the pins up, load them through to the distributor, off the fingers in the front there, and start setting the lane again. All the pins will fill up until it gets to pin number nine, so it'll go to 10 first, that's 10, and now it's gonna touch nine. And that clack you heard was the trigger plate telling the machine that it's got a full set up there and it's ready to set them down. So aside from that, we do have extra controls on here. We do have continuous cycle for maintenance mode. If you wanna see if something's screwing up and where it's screwing up, this will continually go through every step of the cycle. We also have a sweep button here. If we wanna just bring the sweep down, you can stop it anywhere you want. You've got a revolving sweep, which will just keep the sweep going back and forth. You also have this ball step button, which will change the step in cycle. So you could skip picking up the pins and just sweep them. You can also go back to the normal. And we do have a table button as well, which will lower the table to any point you want. Like if we had a pin stuck in here or something and we needed to get in there, that would let you do that. If you needed to climb into the back of the machine, you can shut the back end off while the machine's on and you can climb in here on the carpet now to get up inside of the machine. The front end is still running, so you don't want to do anything that would uh, hurt yourself. If you do have anything running back there, you can get your arm really hurt in here if the table comes down on it. So make sure you are being safe. So we're going to turn the front end on. And then we do have a breaker here. If you do have a problem or you just don't want the lane on while you're working on it, you can flick that and that kills the whole lane. There is also a lane control box up front there and I will go over that in a different video. All right guys, that's the basics of the pin spotter chassis. I hope you found this helpful. This is for AMF machines, not Brunswick. All right, thanks for watching.